Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Todd McFarlane figure, Adeptus Sororitas, the Battle Sister from the Warhammer 40k line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at her in box first, then I'm going to take a look at the figure and her accessories, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on her. So just remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. So without any further ado, Let's get to the review. All right, so here she is in packaging. Um, this is nice because you have this wide open packaging here where you can, you know, just see her and her accessories. You got the 40K logo at the bottom. Up here you have the Todd McFarlane and your age restrictions. Spin it around this way. You get this nice picture of the figure and the McFarlane logo and also her name. Give her a spin around this way. You get a nice picture of the actual action figure. The Warhammer 40K logo. Uh, some more figures that are part of this lineup. And you even get a little bit of Warhammer art here on the side. Which wraps around to this side. Alright, so that's I always liked that because I always loved the art that went with Warhammer. So, I think it's really cool that they just added that little bit there. Uh, the top is just the clear shell, and then the bottom is your legal. So, with that being said, let's get a good look at her. Okay, so here she is out of box, and she's a really cool looking figure. I love the look to this character. I love the, you know, Todd McFarlane details. You got the white, you know, emblems on the shoulders. You got this nice coloring to, you know, her pipes and, you know... Her, you know, runes here and what have you. Um, her piece here is a plastic, but it still looks good with her. So let's give her the rotation. I love the overall look to her. It just, it really is neat. Like, I love how the white contrasts with the black, so it makes it really pop. You know, so overall, the red and black looks really nice, too. I like the colors to this figure. Um... Let's go over the points of articulation. So she does have a head joint, a shoulder joint, an elbow joint, and a wrist joint. All right, she does have a joint right here. Okay. She has a thigh joint, a knee joint, an ankle joint. It's a little tight, but it is there. There it goes. And obviously a toe joint. So overall, she's a really nice looking figure. Definitely would look really cool if you're Warhammer stuff. Uh, she does come with her own display stand that has a Warhammer logo on it. All right. And of course, she comes with a couple accessories. So she comes with a bolter, a heavy bolter, which is really nice. And she comes with a chain sword. Which I, one thing I always loved about Warhammer was the chain swords. And yes, this came out way before um, Gears of War. So, you know, Gears of War, they have a chain sword on their guns. But, you know, here it's actually on a sword, which is really cool. So, with that being said, let's see how well some of these things work with her. So, let's try to bolt her first. Now, her fingers are soft, and she does have a trigger finger. So let's see how well this fits in here. All right. The bolter sits really nice with her. All right. And then now let's try the sword. All right. We'll turn it this way. Try to maneuver that in there. Mm. Oh, man, those fingers are really tight. All right, let's try this. All right, there we go. All right. So it looks like the sword 
is meant to go in this hand. Let's try to bolt her in this hand. And it looks like the bolter is meant to go into that hand. So, because, yeah, the bowl of the sword just really didn't want to work with this hand. But it definitely obviously works with that hand. So, overall, she is a really cool looking figure. I like the look of this figure. Um, and I would highly recommend her for anybody who's a Todd McFarlane fan or a Warhammer 40k fan, or even if you just like that whole goth soldier look, it just really works. I, I really like the color code to her and the points of articulation. So with that being said, I hope you did like this review. If you did go ahead and check out some of my other Warhammer videos. I've done the blood angels, the chaos Marines and so forth. So go ahead and check them out on the Warhammer playlist and just check out some of my videos in general. So if you did like this, hit the subscribe button and that thumbs up button because that will really help the channel grow. And if you want to see more, hit that notification bell. So without any further ado, have a nice one, folks. Late. So if you like this video and you like Warhammer 40K, then I would recommend that you check out my Blood Angels video next.